So I'm here in our survival world, but this isn't going to be a survival world episode. This is going to be me talking about a tool I've made or a tool that I use to uh, help me out with some of my builds and I just wanted to share it with everybody. We originally built this tower here before the copper blocks were added and uh, back then we just used uh, dark prismarine for everything. Kitty, please. Um, and we, when we added the library onto here, we changed this also to the match this same gradient. So going with the prismarine and going up into the copper and everything. But I use gradients for some things and for builds, even not uh, roofs and stuff like that. And it can be a real pain to try to work out what colors you're using when you're dealing with stairs and uh, and slabs and all that stuff. So I've made a little thing to help out with that. You rotated? That's better. So in vanilla Minecraft, you can use the replace and fill or the fill and replace command to change a volume. So like the sphere behind me, you can use this to change the sphere and replace all the blocks. And that's all fine and dandy when you're only dealing with full blocks. But as soon as you start dealing with something like this uh, top, this roof here, which is the original tower roof, if you just tell it to replace the blocks, the stairs, and the slabs, you end up with something like this. And this is where the problem comes in. So all of the stairs are bottom facing stairs facing north and then you'd have to go through and change all of that or if you're running commands by hand you would have to type in a command for every single uh, direction of stairs even the all the corners top and bottom depending on which ones you have in your build but it's like 23 commands to do at once to just change this to try try it out as a, a different block and so what I made is a tool that will fit all in a single command block that if I wanted to change this from prismarine to warped, it runs and then it changes everything at once. And you can do it backwards. And then, uh, and all of this can be done in regular vanilla Minecraft, but I also can use the same tool for using gradients. So I use a carpet mod which uh, using the tool allows you to do something like this. So I'm going to gradually have a gradient applied to this whole building, whole rooftop. And that's the ending product. So something like this would take a long time to do all these commands. You know, I ran, each one of these has like 20 different commands in it. So it's uh, a long time, but I've made a, a tool that kind of generates these uh, in a in a Google Sheet that you can use. So I'm this is what this does, and now I'm going to go over how to use it. So the tool is just this Google Sheet, and uh, all you need to do is change, modify these uh, these cells up at the top here, just like with normal fill command. You're picking two corners for the thing you want to change. You're picking the type of block that you want changed. You, and then, or sorry, the block you want it to be changed to, and then uh, you want it to be replaced, and then you the block you, that you are replacing. And so these are drop down menus with everything in here. So all you got to do is, uh, let's say, I already did warped, and this is all the things with, uh, with stairs because if it doesn't have a stair or slab then you can just do normal uh, regular like one command fill so let's change it to um, mangrove planks so from that this changes this one cell uh, down here so you can just click that cell copy the entire thing go back over to minecraft and then prismarine to warped I'm going to delete what's in here, paste what I copied out of that cell, press the button, and bam. 
Well, actually looks pretty good. I like that color. Actually looks good with the green. As uh, I haven't done st much stuff with a uh, mangrove yet, but that's as easy as it is. If you don't know how to use uh, command blocks, uh, you can get them in the creative inventory in the newer uh, snapshots and versions, uh, or you can give one to yourself with the give command, and you'll get one. Um, I have this set up as an impulse, unconditional, needs redstone, and then you have to put a button, uh, you have to power it some way. You can't power it from the top because it uh, has these things that load on it, and if there's a button there, it, it you know it can't do that. So you have to put a power it from the side, but uh, that's all there is to it. Okay, and now for the carpet and gradient tool, it's a little bit more complicated. There is this carpet script replace down here. And this adds these two other, three other things, uh, cells in here. The origin, the distance, and the equation that I'm using. So what this does is when you use a carpet script, you have to have carpet installed. You, you run this script and then uh, fill and then you're putting an origin or where you want your equation to start from. I should make a better demonstration. Okay, so I've made a demonstration for how I use the carpet fill command to do gradients. It's just like a normal fill command except a couple other little things. First, you have to tell it you're doing a script. So, forward slash script. And then we're going to be using the fill. And then the first number it's asking you for is what's called the origin. And it's where it's going to, there's going to be an equation later on in the, in this uh, command. And this origin is where is basically acting as the zero point for the equation. It'll make more sense in a little bit. Then the next two numbers are your two corners. So here's my lower left. And here is my upper right and then next is the equation so the equation that I'm using is this one right here it's an if statement and it generates a random number if this random number is greater than my y value divided by 5 then it's true and it will end up replacing this uh, the block so I'm just going to copy or paste this into here. And now I'm going to change this value right here, this y, this 5, to 15. This number right here is how many blocks you want the gradient to be applied over. So if you made, you know, if, if it was 5, then the gradient would, would be applied over 5 blocks. So it would be... Um, the block you are replacing 100% at the bottom, and then gradually over five blocks, it would change to what it's what is being replaced. With 15, it's going to be 15 blocks of gradient. I'll run both just so you can see the difference. Actually, I'll do the five blocks. It's only going to be at the bottom right here. So we're going to replace the dark prism with oxidized, cut copper. And then, so we're going to be replacing dark prismarine. And now when I press enter, only this little bottom section here. So the bottom five, you know, you have a little transition there. Okay, so I've reset everything. So now you'll see if I change this value to 15, then the transition applies over a longer uh, Y value. And so you can also do things like, let me do, let me reset it one more time. Let's say you didn't want the transition to happen down at the bottom. You wanted to happen it happen in the middle over a small range. Well, perfectly fine. We'll go back to the previous command that only had the five over here. And we're just going to move the origin up to uh, the negative 50 bit confusing since we're moving we're all in the negative here but 
if I do this, then the transition should be happening in the middle. And so it's true all the way up until that origin point, because it's negative numbers. And then the transition happens in the middle, and then we have the uh, dark prismarine on top. It's like an interesting, random, <laughs> not very random uh, position right there. But, and every time you do this, you'll get a different outcome. But this one almost looks like a Pokeball. But, uh, so, you know, doing things like this, what I've done previously with, with showing you this, this one just changes everything. There's no gradient or anything. And then this one, changing the granite, I have the origin point set way up here, and then I have a, a small range for my gradient to happen in. And then the next one down, same thing. And now I'm replaced the granite with this in the script, and I've moved the origin point down like another five or something like that. I don't remember what I did. Maybe 10? I don't remember. Same thing, moving the origin point down and changing the... Uh, the blocks that I'm swapping out and then finally changing over the last bit to just change over the bottom part with the smooth sandstone. But anyway, that's how I do that. It's uh, It saves me, uh, the tool saves me a lot of time, especially if I've done something like this and I don't like it, I can easily you know try something else uh, again. I use this in conjunction with uh, Lightmatica so I can like make a copy like beforehand in case I really don't like it and I just need to reset it. Or I screw up the command and it does you know something else. So anyway, this is a tool that I made that saves me time with uh, building and trying different things out. I'm pretty sure you can do this in World Edit. I am bad at World Edit and I don't like it. So once I learn it, maybe this will all be useless. But... Uh, for right now, I think it's pretty good. I've uh, put a link down below that you can uh, have access to the spreadsheet and use it yourself. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll probably get back to you. So thanks. Uh, hope it's useful for somebody and I'll see you next time. Bye.